Welcome to the channel and my product review for the GM500 Be Excellent Pro Gaming headset. Now this is an entry level headset so it'll cost you around about £20, $25. It is compatible with a whole bunch of devices. So this will work with a PlayStation 4, a PlayStation 4 Pro, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Xbox One X, PCs, laptops, Macintosh, even smartphones. It has a noise cancelling mic. It's also got some kind of you know, leather based ear pads and kind of headband if you like. It does extend on the left and the right. There's just under an inch of movement left and right. So it'll actually fit reasonably well if you've got a large head like me. I've got a 60 centimeter head. I know that because I used to race um, push bikes. And obviously my helmets back then were 60 centimeters, which is quite large for a head in general. And these were very comfortable on my head, just to give you, you know, some kind of comparison for size fit, if you like. There was, you know, more than enough room to adjust the headbands and also kind of close them up a little bit so it was comfortable and sat, you know, firmly on my head, which they did. You know, I was quite impressed with the fit. From a packaging perspective, it's, you know, generic cardboard box you get. You know, once you open it up, which we're doing here, you'll see there is some, you know, bubble wrap inside. It's kind of okay from a packaging perspective. I had two of these delivered to me. Neither of them, you know, arrived with any form of damage. They were, you know, both in very good condition when they arrived. What you get in the box is basically a little guide here. There's some issue with the English on this. It's actually a Chinese manufactured product, but you know most of it's okay. There isn't anything that's gonna confuse you. It's very easy to understand how to connect this device. Now you do get this adapter in here. What we also get in here is this really nice braided cable. So this is the best quality connection cable I've seen for any headset. It is extremely strong and to be honest one of the first things that go on headsets and I know this I've had at least seven headsets in the last two years is the cable the cable always goes and this braided cable is excellent quality and you're definitely not going to get the normal issues you get with headsets with this breaking and stuff so what you also get is this USB cable which is for powering the light feature on the headset and then obviously your 3.5 millimeter jack and as well, we get this control system on the headset for volume, overall volume, and also a mute button or a mute switch, if you like, a slider, which allows you to mute communication over chat. Control system itself, you know, it feels okay. It's, it feels like it's price point, to be honest. It is respectable volume control and the mute function does work. Be aware that the volume control controls both chat and game audio, it's not independent. The thing I liked about this as well was that the caps of the headset, e.g. that USB connector and also the jack came protected with a sleeve. And the one thing that really stood out for me was the feel of quality. For a 20 pound headset, the quality is really impressive. The actual design and finish on the headset feels really nice. The ear pads and headrest are made of it says it's some kind of lever on the box, but it actually feels more cloth to me. Um, I'm not disputing, you know, the manufacturer choice, but it, it feels okay. You know, it was comfortable. I didn't mind it, and it was made very well. I didn't feel at any point like my head was being crushed when I had this on. It kind of felt comfortable, and it was a firm fit. You know, it didn't move too much if I moved around, and, you know, it was okay. I guess one of the downfalls for the cable was if you're not using the light feature, as you'll have a loose dangling piece of USB cable if you don't connect it. However, if you want to use the light feature, you will need to buy an extension cable, a USB extension cable to connect it to one of the USB ports in your console or some kind of charge point, I guess, would do as well if you've got a charge point. What I did was actually buy a external USB hub, just one of these, you know, four or five pound USB 3.0 hubs and connected up the USB to that so that I wasn't taking up additional ports in my Xbox One X. 
and that allowed me to obviously you know test out the light feature which kind of looks quite funky if you're into that kind of thing the camo design you know looks okay it's not too bad not necessarily my choice of design from an aesthetic but you know it is well designed smooth finish and the seals you know going around the headset and stuff just feel you know they're really tight you can see it's been you know it's been manufactured with care this product now the biggest surprise for me for this product being a 20 pound headset was the quality of the sound from the stereo the stereo sound from this headset is really really good i was genuinely surprised at how good the stereo sound was when i was playing games i was able to hear footsteps and stuff when i was playing you know shooting games i was able to tell him rainbow whether you know the enemy are coming from my left or my right and that was one of the things i noticed with some of the cheaper headsets some of the turtle beaches i couldn't define where footsteps were coming from i could hear them but i couldn't actually tell where they were coming from whereas you know my primary headset i use as an astro a50 that I can 100% tell where people are coming from and it saves my ass all the time when I'm playing shooting games. But with this headset, I was actually able to tell and distinguish where footsteps were coming from and you know where sounds were coming from and stuff, which enabled me to prepare for the worst in games. You know, So it's actually a very, very good sound quality on this headset. And I think if I was to take one of its features and say this is the standout feature the sound which is obviously one of the important things is definitely one of them for me onto the chat function that's where i had a bit of a problem i don't play many people on pc and playstation 4 so i wasn't able to test the chat on playstation 4 or pc all of my sound tests were done across three devices so i tested on my msi laptop i tested on my xbox one x and i also tested on my xbox one s as well as well as my playstation 4 and from a sound perspective i got you know very good sound as i said from a chat perspective though, i was only able to test on my xbox one s and xbox one x because that's where all of my you know friend or gamer base is and I tested across six different groups and what I found was across those groups on both of my Xbox One S and X I was hearing everything perfectly fine but the people at the other end of the mic were getting an echo at their end they could hear themselves twice you know for me the sound was perfect but for the receivers at the other end and I'm talking quite a few people here they kept complaining about hearing themselves echoing now i was able to resolve the echo by turning down the headset volume doesn't make much sense i couldn't get mic monitoring to make a difference um, the headset chat mixer obviously just you know defines the sound you're getting from either voice or the game itself so that has no bearing but turning down the headset volume did actually fix the echo when I switched it down to 50% of volume on the Xbox One setup. However, obviously the problem with that is I wasn't actually able to hear the people I was chatting to that well. And if multiple people were talking, I didn't have a chance in hell of hearing what anyone was saying. You know, it's just very difficult to hear what was going on. So the you know the downside on this headset is the chat mic. You know, if you're wanting to chat with people online, it's going to be problematic because the receivers, at least on the Xbox, were getting feedback in terms of an echo at their end. For me, it was perfect. So if you don't care about who you're gaming with, you don't care if they hear an echo, then it's fine. You know, just piss them off. But if, you know, if you do care about getting an echo at the other end and you care about the people you're playing with, it's going to be a bit annoying for them from a chat perspective. If, obviously, you're buying this you know for your bedroom which is what i originally intended to use this for and you know you're going to do some late gaming and just hear game and not talk to people it's a fantastic purchase you know it really is a good headset something else i should mention is that the fit of this headset in terms of keeping out outside sounds was actually really good i was playing battlefield 5 because obviously that's got some fantastic sounds and resident evil 2 and on two occasions my wife was trying to contact me and I could not hear her at all. I was just totally immersed in the game sound that the headset was chucking at me. So it does do a really good job of keeping out the outside world so that you can obviously get immersed in your game.
whilst not making you very popular with your partner. In summary, the GM500 Be Excellent Pro Gaming headset is an amazing product for its price point. For £20 or $25, this is some of the best quality you're ever going to see. It's an extremely robust headset, it's got lots of features, and I was just really blown away by the quality of sound that this headset offered for its price point. It really, really is a great quality product. In terms of cons, the only real thing that I could find with this headset, as I said earlier in the review, was the fact that when I was chatting with other gamers on Xbox One and Xbox One S, they were getting an echo experience at the other end of the communication, so they could hear themselves twice. Now, having said that, obviously, you know, I've got to review this product based on its pros and its cons. And given that pretty much everything other than the mic is of excellent quality for the price point, I'm going to give the GM500 a 8 out of 10. Um, purely because it's such a high quality product and it offers such an excellent level of sound quality. Obviously, if you're going to chat with this, you may want to consider a different product if you care about the people at the other end of the communication. Obviously, if you're talking to people you don't like, it'll be fine. You know, who cares if they get an echo? But yeah, you know, good quality product. As I said, real shame that that mic was doing the. Uh, you know the echo at the other end otherwise it would have been you know very possibly a 10 out of 10. If you found this review of the GM500 Be Excellent Pro Gaming headset in any way helpful maybe drop me a like maybe subscribe to the channel all of your support is much appreciated thanks for watching take care keep well and come back soon.